Hey y'all, I'm Joe Jeff, and today we're going to be eating some very old food. Shout out to my boy Steve MRE 1989, one of the all-time YouTube greats. Uh, he's always eating wacky stuff, eating some old, old food. So that's where we got the idea for this video. And thanks to Army Brass 75 for sending me this descrumptious vintage World War II ration pack. So what we've got here is a vintage, uh, what is it now, 80 year old can of grub. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now I got my handy multi-tool here, courtesy of Forged 4x4, of course not sponsored. <clears throat> Pop out the old blade here, let's get this sucker going. So, you know, I ain't about saving packaging and stuff, so here we go. All right, now for the unveiling. Ah! That is one old-looking can right there. That's, that's it, folks. Here we have it. So we got our can here. We're just going to go ahead and pop this sucker open. Of course, uh, I misplaced my can opener, but that is not a problem because we have... The trusty multi-tool. So let's go ahead and get this open. <clears throat> now what are we going <sighs> Here we go. This looks like this should work. We got a saw blade attachment here for the forged 4x4 multi-tool. So we're just going to go ahead and... Now, so the saw's not working too well, so let's go ahead and uh, try something else here. Let's see. Oh yeah, pliers, of course. This will work great. So just go ahead. Now we can uh, give that a peel that out. Dangerous. Don't you know? Be careful not to cut yourself on the rusty metal here. That would be bad. So we've got a little bit of rust shaving. That's okay. Rust ain't never killed nobody, so go ahead and get that open. Peel that up just like that. Nice. Nice. So now uh, for the Grand Unveil. That was a good hiss, though, too, by the way. Shout out, Steve, 1989. So now we can uh, go ahead and get this out. So what it looks like we have here is, of course... Oh, look at this. Now it doesn't get any more authentic than that. We got a authentic, what is this? Looks like blueberry Pop-Tart. All right, let's go ahead and get this in a bowl. Get that out of here. Go ahead and... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely... Uh, time has not been kind to this Pop-Tart, folks. So what we have here is a vintage blueberry pop tart just like our boys would have been eating back there behind enemy lines of course they wouldn't have had no uh toaster to toast this with when they were in combat so they would have had to boil it actually and eat it like a porridge so that's what we're gonna be doing here um hmm seems like something's missing though let's check the can oh all right yep so what we got here of course is the uh beef flavoring that would have been standard issue for uh any of these pop tart rations so now let's go ahead and get this water boiling and then i'll see you back all right guys so now that we got our water sufficiently heated up let's go ahead and get this in a pan all right so we got our pop tarts right here <sighs> dang they do not be smelling good they smell a little bit like mothballs and and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get that in the pan now all right already it's letting off more of a uh, kind of rusty aroma maybe from the rusty can now we've got our beef flavoring of course it says to uh add this right away so i went ahead and bit off the corner there let's go ahead and get that in there maybe a little bit more of a bite all right that's it Precious brown waterfall, delicious beef dust, 80 years old. 
Okay, so this uh, shouldn't take too long to cook. You just get it, get it here already. That's looking a little bit different there. So let's go ahead and get that. We're gonna want to cook this down till uh, the water's pretty much all the way gone. So uh, I'm gonna keep that boiling for a little bit, and I'll see you back here in a second. All right, so it's been simmering here for a little bit already. You can see the uh, beef dust has turned this into a sort of uh, beef Pop-Tart-like gravy kind of uh, consistency. So uh, pretty soon here we'll be ready to get this in a bowl. Just got to keep uh, stirring it. Of course, we don't want it to stick to the pan, so keep giving that a little stir. Of course, this is the point when if you want to add some seasonings, you could go ahead. I think the... Uh, Beef flavor should be very sufficient, though. All right, that's uh, that's starting to look pretty good here. So we'll go ahead and transfer this to our bowl. All right. Now you want to be careful here. Make sure uh, when you're dealing with hot, beefy Pop-Tart gravy, you don't want to burn yourself because you, you definitely could. All right, here we go. Here it is. All right, so this would have been, you know, heat of combat. You only got a little bit of time, maybe in between dodging shells to uh, cook up a little grub. You get yourself a little bit of uh, Pop-Tart soup here, beefy Pop-Tart soup. Grab a spoon. All right, so now let's give this a try. All right, so I went ahead and let this chill for a little bit. Of course, uh, you don't want to be trying to eat boiling hot Pop-Tart gravy. It's not a good idea. Here you can see uh, we've got some Pop-Tart chunks in there. Nice and beefy aroma coming from this. So uh, without further ado, let's give this a try. I uh, try not try not to think about what this looks like. Actually, kind of resembles a some sort of uh, medical problem I've been going through re somewhat recently. All right, get a bite with a sufficient amount of pop tart chunks in there. Make sure you blow on it too. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, no, just no. Oh, that is, mm -mm. Oh. all right. Shout out, Steve, 1989, Army Brat 76. Thank you again. Make sure if you're new here, like and subscribe. That's all I got. Sorry. I'm going to go throw up.